prayers get answered in the most amazing ways. Not always the way we expect. I just spent a week and a half in Southern California. I drove down by myself. I <clears throat> stayed with a friend. Fortunately, I had that support, that joyousness. And I drove five days. I drove down to Tijuana, crossed the border by myself, went to the dentist, came home by myself back to my friend's house. And the first day, I had been affirming, okay, this is, this is just to get molds done. It's, it's going to be an hour there, and then I'm going to jump back across the border. Probably a longer line because it's Monday. So I took nothing with me but my purse and my passport and some money to pay half the, down, half the, the, the cost of what I was having done. I was there until almost about 2.30. I had no book. I had no snacks. It was, to put it quite mildly, challenging. Because I had nothing to do but sit and wait. I did read an L magazine or something from 1990 or something. So I'm way up now on 1990 fashions. But, <laughs> uh, and I did sit there and write my tapping article for this month in my little, little booklet. But I had been affirming that this was going to be like the other time. I was going to be there in this wonderful, <laughs> What's the word? This wonderful <laughs> bubble of energy, of love, of peace. And yes, I was, but it wasn't the same. I was there with a different frame of mind, different expectations, because this time I had expectations, which were totally dashed, one, one after another. It turned out to be not at all like I had expected. It took way longer on each day. I thought, oh, no problem. I'm going to run in, run out. Oh, no. <laughs> and so that first day, I had to continually pull myself back into my heart and breathe and call in the peace that would have been so easy to lose in my dashed expectations, in my, my, well, you know what it's like. You know, you go into a situation and you have expectations. You're being a Girl Scout, I'm usually prepared. I, you go in not prepared for all contingencies. And what happens? You are given an exquisite opportunity. And so my opportunity was to stand in line to get back over the border. No book, no snacks, only water. Nothing to do for over three and a half hours. It was the most awesome experience. I, I find it hard to put words to it because well, I'll try. But unless you've been in a situation similar, it's kind of hard to, to put yourself in that place. And I'm sure most of you have actually been in a situation like this or similar. I stood in line, inching forward for over three and a half hours, couldn't even use my cell phone, and I opened to observation, I witnessed, I observed, I took the opportunity to open my heart and to really look at everybody around me. Most of the people in line were Mexican descent. I could, who can tell if they're Mexicans, Americans, it doesn't matter. Because what I was looking for was not the outer. What I affirmed in that weight was our oneness, looking past the outer 
and seeing the brilliant light of God that they are. It didn't matter what the outer looked like. It didn't matter. This woman, maybe this tall, I believe she's, well, I think there are maybe, there's one woman who's taller, not a whole lot taller, um, who has her son in a wheelchair, who's sitting there next to the line. He obviously has something like cerebral palsy, and she's holding out her cup. There's another woman who's like, I think she's in the wheelchair, who's um, crippled up and dwarf size. There are obviously extremely poor people begging. And to look past the outer and to affirm <clears throat> that they are God in this body, it was truly a spiritual experience. I, I wouldn't recommend that you go do something like this for the spiritual experience, but next time, <laughs> yeah, next time you're in a situation where you have to wait, even if it's in the huge long line at Costco or Rayleigh's, take this opportunity that's being given because it truly is an opportunity. And so when I came back, I was doing my, my it's the first um, review in A Course in Miracles. And what did I read? God goes with me wherever I go. How can I be alone when God always goes with me? How can I be doubtful and unsure when perfect certainty abides in him? How can I be disturbed by anything when he rests in me in absolute peace? What a confirmation of my experience. I hope that you get to experience that too, if you haven't before. Thank you.